and I always deal with that. I think that's just part of the educational process. Yeah. One of the things that I'm most like blown away by, um, I worked with Stephanie Krause the other day, and she had a client where I, I probably spent 15 minutes just talking with them before we started doing any work using the camera. Okay. She had MS. She had like a whole host of issues mm -hmm. that I'm talking to her, trying to figure out like what's 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 going on, what's causing the problem, and she had low back pain. And I've seen this before. The new sequences I teach will address. Let's say we choose low back pain. It'll address 80% of the clients 80% of the time when they have general low back pain. Mm -hmm. The challenge is the other 20%. We did this, essentially, and after we did this, it was like the only thing she responded to was a sort of traction. It was like she, she wished I had, like, pulleys I could wrap around yeah. her legs and, like, just ratchet her up to traction her spine to hold her there. Yeah. And I was like, the problem isn't with her back, it's, it's in her abdomen. And, and we went in very briefly just did some lights, like, so is kind of abdominal work. Yeah. And she's like, right there, that's it. That's it. I read that post in your group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where my pain is coming from. And what's blowing me away is, like, I can do that in sessions. Mm -hmm. It's a new, relatively new experience in the last six months for me to do it with a client of a student. Yeah. With cameras. Yeah. And then Stephanie was like, can we do the abdominal work next, next month? And I'm like, sure. It's just hard because my nature is to want to continue to improvise, but there's so much about what you're discussing. It's not only what the core issue is that's causing her discomfort and pain. Mm -hmm. It's also like how you communicate and yeah. you package the service to be able to work with the client. So like basically what I was thinking this conversation was going to be is like how do we transition somebody from the table to the mat? No, not really. I'm pretty sure she's, like, open to it. Plus, I told her to check out my YouTube channel just because, like, if she wanted to see some more of, like, what that actually looked like. Um, but it's more of, like, I didn't know. It seemed as though she was, like, limited on laying on her one side. It was more so, like, how to address the actual session yeah. with what she's coming in with. Because I would feel like she's that other 20% too because, yeah, I yeah. think. It, the thing is, like, I'm. I'm literally just an hour before we started doing this i'm having major mental like you know I, like i need to have more coffee and work out a spreadsheet <laughs> organize things because i feel like this is where the teaching practice is going the students through the cameras aren't asking for this they're not asking for sequences they're like can you help me with one specific client and i'm like sure what's going on Mm -hmm. I have to spend 20, 30 minutes talking to the client, finding out, like, working through the student, through the camera. Uh, yeah. But it's like, I feel like the students understand more after I go over it with them on a specific client. They can yeah. see how we weave from a more general session to this very specific condition. Issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other uh, option is I can continue to talk about it, and I can give you some good ideas of what you can do in session and or we have her in as a model and we work with her together okay. to try to figure out what we what we think is going on. Um, the mm -hmm. first thing I hear when somebody has lupus is I, I hear an episodes of house where they're like nobody has lupus. Have you seen that in house? No, no, but I, I can understand where you're coming from. Joke. It's like a running joke through the series, like nobody has lupus according to house or whatever. Yeah. Um, I have other ideas of like what what might be going on but i think that the mat in some ways occasionally i get therapists who ask like what do you do if the client can't get off the up and off the mat mm -hmm. i don't remember the last time i worked with someone who was so frail they couldn't do that yeah and nine times out of ten i have, there's a video in the vault where i show this like I become the table and let them put their hands on my back and like lower themselves down. Right. And they go, well, how do you help them get up? I'm like, I have them put their hands on my back and help themselves up and I yeah. work with them. Yeah. The, the, the mat is accessible. Um, I, I just think that the fact that we live in a culture where it's okay where people can't get up and down off the ground is a little weird to me. Yeah. Like, we've, we've allowed it to get to that point. Does it make sense? 
Well, and that's just my assumptions. I don't even, like, I was like, I don't want to assume that about her just because she's, like, larger. She, yeah. she could maybe easily do it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's why I, like, at least threw it out there. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, if there's anything, um, like, some people, they're like, well, th this isn't, it isn't quite as comfy as, as I want it to be. Uh -huh. And I'm like, well, put some, some egg foam or an egg crate or whatever over yeah. it and, like, just so put another blanket or something to soften it. And it's like, they're still trying to make it too much like a massage. Yeah. The other thing is, I move people around constantly. It's Sean, right? So if I work on Sean and I'm asking Sean where he's got a problem, I, I don't do these. I work on Sean. Sean tells me he's got a problem with his shoulder, and I'm like, mm -hmm. like changing position Same. just to access that one thing. Mm -hmm. The challenge is teaching that to students is teaching them improvisation. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I did this every week with a student, they brought in a problem client, we worked every week for 52 weeks, 52 clients. Mm -hmm. Then after that year, they go, oh, yeah, like, now I just go work on people and address whatever they're dealing with because they're not thinking about these anymore. Yeah. The challenge is just in conversation with you, getting enough information about what she feels and experiences to be able to give you an idea yeah. of how to customize. I get it. Yep. No, I get it. Um, so if I wanted to like bring her, well, she's coming in tomorrow. So like, um, if I wanted to bring her in as a client to do like this kind of, you know, on the, on Zoom or whatever, would that just be my next, that, that would just be my, like my next yeah, session yeah, with you. you. That way, yeah, if you want to do it that way, it's fine. Yeah. Are you able to get on tomorrow? What time? Um, it's in the morning. It's like 9.30. I have her scheduled for. I, I'll be asleep. <laughs> I, I yeah. usually, I usually, I try, I try not to start before 10 a.m. Yeah. Because I'm not as mentally alert. Okay. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, the other part is, if, if you need to get something in before then, like, for instance, if we didn't do it tomorrow, but we did it another day, and you just needed an hour, I can just comp you an hour, it doesn't matter. It's like, I wouldn't even have to have a model to be able to talk with both of you and just show you real quick, put her in this position, do this, Yeah. you know, like, help, help you walk through it to give you a basic idea. Um, she's also scheduled on Monday night, so I don't know if you have anything going on Monday. Uh, I'd have to look at the, uh, the schedule okay. to make sure. Okay. Let me look real quick. Uh, I think it might be open, but...